A lot of people might not know this, but there's actually M&M's War. Yes, M&M's like the candy. So, after I saw this iceberg on Twitter about the lore, I decided I wanted to make a video explaining every single thing on it. For those who don't know, an iceberg is basically a list of facts or theories about a topic, sort from most to least well known. This iceberg was made by Poral Shy on Twitter. Check her out, she's cool. Also, be sure to check out the Hall of Advertising. They're where I got most of the clips from this video from. With that said, it's time to get into the M&M's War Iceberg. Candy itself. The actual m M&M candies that you eat. They're multicolored chocolates that are each covered by a candy shell as pictured. Christmas commercial. Every year around Christmas time, the classic faint commercial is shown. In this commercial, Red and Yellow meet Santa and they both realize they each exist and Red and Santa faint in shock. There is also a sequel to this commercial that came out in 2018 where Yellow attempts to save Christmas after Red and Santa faint. He's unsuccessful in this, however, but at the end, Red assures him that he made Christmas even better. Six Spokes Candies Red, yellow, orange, blue, green, and brown are the six spokes candies that appear in the m M&M advertisements. Red is pretty cynical, self-confident, and likes being in charge. Yellow is cheerful and oblivious. Orange is always anxious. Blue is smooth and the cool guy. Green is furry and quick witted And brown is very intelligent and weak. Super Bowl commercials. Every Super Bowl, new Eminem commercials debut. The Sexy I Know it ad and the Human ad featuring Danny DeVio being some of the more notable ones. Green and brown are trans lesbians. In 2015, the M&M's Twitter account made this tweet, which shows a picture of green and brown sitting together at the beach with green's hand on top of brown's. This tweet led to many people believing that green and brown are lesbians in dating. A year later in 2016, a Twitter user by the name of Funfetti Kitty made a tweet shown stating that green is trans. Later, this picture was made as well, showing that Brown is also trans. Bambi on PS2 In 2017, Tumblr user Relish Boy and the character of Green responded to a post that said, Hate this site. After a few exchanges, Relish Boy responded with the now iconic, now listen to me young man speech. The post soon became a widespread copy pasta. Yellow is voiced by J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons is well known for being the voice of Yellow and has played the role since 1996. He's also well known for being the voices of Ford Pine from Gravity Falls, Omni-Man from Invincible, and Tenzin from The Legend of Korra. Sub to Dom chart. This picture created by Tumblr user Toastpotent Shows the M&M's lined up from most submissive to most dominant, the ones in the middle being switches. Why is that green hell so sexualized? In many of the commercials with green in them, she's very sexualized. For instance, the premium M&M advertisements. Mm, raspberry almond M&M's premiums. Rich premium chocolate with luscious almonds and the sweet taste of raspberries. It's your heart's desire in chocolate. There's also quite a few suggestive pictures of her without her shell on, and even a whole commercial where she's caught naked. Shrek 2 Collaboration During the releases of Shrek 2 and Shrek the 3rd, Vulgar size M&M's were released for a limited time. Shrek M&M plushies were made as well. Matt Pat video. On his food theory channel, Matt Pat made a video discussing how the M&M's eat each other and theorizing if they were actually committing cannibalism or not. It's a pretty solid video. Check it out if you haven't already. Cannibalism. To go more in depth about the whole cannibalism thing. In many M&M advertisements, they joke about cannibalism. 
Some examples of this are the new Spose Candy ad where the M&M's eat the hazelnut exposed candy and the Lost Tribe commercials where the M&M's ancestors tried to eat them. Red and Yellow Homo Erotic Tension There are quite a few M&M commercials and promotional pictures where Red and Yellow are shown to have a very interesting relationship. There was a whole arc where they broke up which I'll go into more depth about later. There's the ads where Yellow tries to kiss Red. Really, somebody's got to kiss somebody. And these ads from Europe. Findest du nicht auch, dass dieses Orange zum Anbeißen schön ist? Ja, lass uns das Orange mit der ganzen Welt teilen. Oh, damit sind wir die Könige der. Meine Mama sagt, mit, mit Orange ist die Welt noch viel, viel schöner. Du wärst den Orange auch viel schöner. Hm. Manu. Auch so wild pictures. Eminem Wiki. The M&M's wiki is basically what it sounds like, a wiki for everything related to the M&M's franchise. However, the articles on the wiki are often edited and some of them are pretty wild. Here's greens and browns for instance, and some other various ones. The memes are mentally sick in the head and... In 2020, Twitter user Squidja made this tweet showing a picture from the M&M's wiki. The picture shows the mini M&M's wiki page with the caption, Minis are mentally sick in the head and... Here's the full description if you want to read it. French stripping commercials. In 2008, the Show Me Your Peanut commercial was released in France. In the commercial, Red urges Yellow to show his peanut after Yellow loses a game of poker and uh, I'll just show it. Is Peanut a metaphor for corn cob? In the strip poker commercial, Yo says that he doesn't want to show his peanut in public. Also, in the Show Me Your Peanut commercial I just showed, Yo's peanut is censored at the end. Keeping these things in mind, peanut is most likely a metaphor for corn cob. Red banging some guy's wife commercial. In the Eating in Bed commercial, Red is shown to be in bed with a guy's wife. The guy, Scott, comes home early and catches them. Red realizes Scott's wife was trying to eat him and says, so that's what the biting was for, implying that they were having sex. Also, Yo was watching them the entire time. Pride advertisements. In the past few years during Pride Month, m has made several Pride promotional images. Here's a few from the Spanish m Instagram account and some other ones. Pretzel and Orange's ass arc. <laughs> Back in 2010, when pretzel M&Ms were first introduced, there were several advertisements featuring Orange and Pretzel. In the first one, listen buddy, Pretzel was surgically placed inside of Orange's body and both of them were forced to participate in this. In another call, Inside Jokes, we can see Pretzel is inside of Orange's body. I'll go more into detail about this arc later. Green being based off a legend from the 70s about green ones being aphrodisiacs. Green's personality is a reference to a myth from the 1970s that the green M&Ms are aphrodisiacs. This rumor started after students picked the green M&Ms out of their packages to give to their crushes. M&Ms acknowledged this by running the Is It True What They Say About the Green Ones ad campaign and introducing green. Miss Brown Hating Red's Guts Brown has shown and even basically stated that she hates Red on multiple occasions. 
the commercial devour brown introduces red to a woman named kristen and pretty much lets him get eaten by her and die is the most notable example of this during the q a brown did on twitter and instagram she responded to a question asking her what the best and worst thing about being an m m was by basically saying that red was the worst thing 2009 pit crew in 2009, there was an M&M's character creator where you could design your own M&M character. You could change things like the body shape, eyes, clothes, and other prop elements. Unfortunately, this site is now defunct. Australian Bear All Ads In 2010, Australia made several advertisements for their Bear All promotion, where whoever found a bag of M&M's without their shelves won a prize. The first ad, I don't really know how to describe it, so I'll just play some of it. <laughs> Come on, spin, baby, spin! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> you can't take my dignity, Red. No? <laughs> oh, you can. In the second advertisement, Yo has everyone take off their shelves, and Orange ends up losing his, so he has to wander around the camp to try and find his until he finds out that Red put on eBay. Value, of course. No! You didn't! I'll see you in Candy Court! Ooh. You can't sell my... my... modesty! Oh, really? Better start bidding, then. Blue Cankley has a massive corn cob. This ties in with the whole Bear All promotion thing. So, in the second commercial, when Yellow has everyone take off their shelves, Blue comes out without his shell on, and this happens. Yeah, great. Oh my goodness, Blue. Yeah, well. Oh my goodness. Acha. Blue. He's blue, all right. He, yeah. Well, he's definitely blue. Very yeah. definitely blue. Definitely. So, yeah, pretty much implies, uh, you know. Haha, -ha, Red Cankley has a small corn cob. Also, from the second advertisement from the Bear All promotion, Green calls him short stuff, and Red immediately covers his crotch area, and, uh, yeah. Blue and Green are besties. Yes, this is so true. They're best friends who love watching people humiliate themselves for fun and just, like, look at them. Election arc. In 2008, Australia had an m and selection campaign where they made a few commercials, fake posters, and even an entire blog. The first ad, election, was basically what it sounds like, an election for the M&Ms. However, Red segment pretty much confirms that he's a communist, which I'll get into more later, and Orange's segment references John F. Kennedy. In the second ad, Trust No Candy, an anonymous M&M who goes by Mr. M, reveals that they've hacked into the official M&M's website and got dirt on all the other spoked candies. And may a blog also named Trust No Candy to compile all of it. I'll go through some of the posts on their blog later. Breakup Arc In 2009, there was a promotion in Australia called The Color Breakup. There were several ads made for a promotion. In the first one, Color Breakup, the m and start fighting and then decide to go their separate ways. This is also the arc where Yellow and Red broke up that I mentioned in Tier 2. In the second one, break up. Yellow kicks Red out of their apartment and declares that they're through. But in the last advertisement, Reunion, Yellow got back together with Red by singing Back for Good for him. Lost Tribe Arc In 2012, there was a promotion for the Lost Tribe m ms in Australia. During this arc, Yellow decides to follow his great uncle's path and find the Lost Tribe and bring the other m ms with him. They then find out that the tribe is cannibalistic. Red is into pain. Near the end of the Love Ballads commercial, Red starts getting bitten into and he says this. Birds, but I kinda like it! Seriously, stop stripping, guys. Yeah, there's literally a whole advertisement from Europe that's just an m and stripping. Never mind, they're all sexualized. 
Uh, yeah, there's all the stuff I already mentioned, then there's this picture too that I don't even really need to explain. Red is a communist. During the election arc, Eminem has made those fake posters that I mentioned, and this was Red's. Orange has a therapist. In one of the Lost Tribe ads, Orange mentions that he has a therapist. Hold on, I have to call my therapist. And honestly, good for him. He probably needs it after the whole pretzel shoved up his ass thing. Miss Brown created the rest of the cast and is their boss. In 2012, there was a live chat where Brown answered questions that people had. One person asked what she had been doing for the past 70 years before she was introduced. And in her response, she mentions that she was the one to come with the other colors. And it was my idea to introduce color to the M&M's mix. I came up with the idea of the red, the yellow, the blue, the orange, and the green. And later on, she refers to herself as their boss. But clearly, I am her boss, and uh, it's always great to be in charge. Red dies in the majority of the ads where he is near Miss Brown. In a lot of the ads where Red and Brown are together, Red ends up dying or nearly dying. Some good examples of this are the Devour ad that I already talked about where Brown lets him get eaten, and the human ad where Red gets hit by a bus. Blue's leak sex tape, Green's Play Candy magazine cover, and the rest of the Trust No Candy blog. So to go in more depth about the Trust No Candy blog I mentioned earlier, the blog was pretty much a collection of all the dirt the anonymous folks candy had on them. This includes Blue's leak sex tape, Green's Play Candy magazine cover, and various other things. You can still visit the website with the link on the screen if you want. The post about Blue mentioned that he signed the DVD copies of it, which is honestly pretty brave. And Green's magazine cover says she showed her chocolate for charity. What a queen. Also, this blog post is really funny too, especially Green's quote, like, what the hell is sex votes? <laughs> Pretzel had a life before he was shoved inside Orange. Before he was put inside Orange, Pretzel presumably had a family, or at least his mom that he mentions a few times, and even dreams of being a stand-up comedian. However, that all came to a close once he was forcibly shoved inside Orange's body. It's really sad, honestly, like he's never going to be able to see his mom or even see the outside world again, all because he was shoved up a piece of candy's ass. We know more about the life of Pretzel inside Orange's ass than we know about Orange himself. In the Inside Jokes advertisement, we can see Pretzel inside Orange's body and he gives us a good amount of insight on what it's like to be stuck inside an M&M. However, if you think about it, we know more about Pretzel being stuck inside Orange and the whole Pretzel M&M's arc in general than we know about Orange. Pretty much all we know about him is that he's constantly anxious and being forced to do things like have a Pretzel shoved inside him. Orange knows he has no autonomy under this corporation. M&M's literally changed Orange's entire species, name, and core just because they weren't selling crispy M&M's anymore. And Orange has to deal with it because he's forced to. It's basically confirmed that he's aware he has no autonomy by this cover magazine where he mentions that the company is pretty much forcing him to do things he doesn't want to. Ads for Madagascar. There's only two advertisements for Madagascar as far as I know, and they both have very interesting visuals to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> the episode of Russian reality TV show Dom 2 featuring Eminem characters. In 2010, Red, Yellow, and Green were featured on an episode of a Russian reality TV show called Dom 2. The episode is basically about Red, Yellow, and Green being in a love triangle and the cast of the show having to help them sort out. Fake movie posters. There are a lot of fake movie posters featuring the M&M's, so here's a bunch of various ones. Ads from Brazil where Red has his nudes leaked. In 2003, Brazil had the Red's Forbidden Photos promotion where they basically had people looking for Red's nudes to win a prize. In the commercial for this, Forbidden Photos, 
Red finds out that the pictures she took of himself naked were leaked. Also, when Yellow says he wants to do news too, Red buys shames him and says he doesn't have the buy for that. What an asshole. Finish Yellow sounds hot. No explanation needed, just prepare yourself. Eminem and Twitter used to have a roleplay model of advertisement. Back in around 2009, all of the Eminems had their own Twitter accounts. Yells is still up. Red, green, and browns were suspended for reasons that aren't clear. And blue and oranges are still up, but they never started posting. Is Red Eminem based off the fact that in the 70s, red ones were discontinued because red dye was considered toxic? In 1976, red M&Ms were discontinued due to a public controversy surrounding red dye number two where it was discovered that it was linked to cancer. Because of this, red dye was considered toxic. It's possible that red's personality is based off of this. The Messenger ad. I think this one was actually supposed to be on the iceberg, but in this ad, Red and this lady he meets on an online dang site are talking. Red asks her what she's doing and she says she's eating M&M's. Which leads to Red saying this. <laughs> also keeping this in mind while watching it makes it like 10 times funnier. The British commercial. In this commercial, Yell tries to seem British by trying on several different outfits but fails to do so. This eventually became a popular meme. Dr. Phil Eminem. The Dr. Phil Eminem originated from an ad campaign that ran from 2007 to 2008 with the theme, There's a Little Eminem Inside of All of Us, that involved crossing celebrities with Eminems. The image became a widespread meme in 2017. Bite Size Beats. Bite Size Beats was a website created in 2017 by Eminems and Credbox. Using the website, you can make your own beats with the Eminem characters. The original website ended up getting taken down in late 2017, but you can still access it with the link on screen. So that's pretty much it for the M&M's iceberg. There's still a lot of other things that aren't on the iceberg because of how much war there is, but it pretty much covers the basics. Hopefully this video was somewhat enjoyable. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, and follow my Twitter if you want. I'm more active there. Uh, sure, because the M is for macho. macho.